Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instructions on completing the task at hand. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. In this video, I'm going to replace a damaged display on this Toshiba Satellite P205 series. And I'm not going to take the whole computer apart. I'm just going to replace the broken display. So this is what you need to do. You need a very pointy utility flat tip screwdriver, a pointy utility screwdriver, and a very pointy cross tip utility screwdriver. So two cross tips and a flat tip. First thing you want to do is power the computer down, remove the battery. You do not want to damage anything by having power on it. You release the battery tab here, unlock the battery tab here, then when you release this one you can pull the battery out. Next you use your very fine tip, flat tip screwdriver and you take these little rubber covers off each corner of the display, remove those, prime out, and there'll be Phillips screws behind them. You remove all four of those Phillips screws. There they are there with the covers. The silver screws in the upper end, the dark screws in the lower corner. Now you want to take your very fine tip screwdriver, pry it in the seam of the basil, work your way down both sides across the top. As you can see I worked this out a little bit. So pry in there with the screwdriver to break the tabs loose all the way down both sides and then you open it as far as you can and there's also a seam in there at the hinge you pry in there to work that apart and then that basil will come off of the display I usually start at the top corner then I put my finger in the crack and I pry it out with my screwdriver and work my way down do both sides like that be careful if you have a webcam up there. I don't think that's part of it. That should just be a cover. So as you can see, I have the top loose and the sides loose. Now I got to get the bottom loose. So I open it all the way up and work on the bottom. After you pry the bottom up, the basil will come off. So you move that to the side out of your way. Next, you pull this trim across here off. You just put your fingernails under it, pry it up and towards you because this is how you got to get the keyboard out so now that that piece of trim is removed try not to break the little tabs on the end of it like I almost did now you got four screws in your keyboard one two three four remove those four screws lift the keyboard up a little bit slide it toward the display and unplug the ribbon under the keyboard so don't just jerk it up. Now that your keyboard's loose, you work it this way. Now you have to unlock the ribbon for the keyboard on both sides. It has little tabs and then the ribbon will unplug. Set the keyboard aside. Now here's the actual ribbon for your monitor. You shouldn't have to undo none of these other wires going back that way they go to the uh, webcam and the wireless antenna they should be fine where they are next you have to remove this power strip board here with the speaker covers this ribbon here needs to be unplugged because that attaches to it and then you have to work it out from around the edges with that sharp flat tip screwdriver I pried the screwdriver into that corner worked it up and then worked it out from under the corner to trim you do that on both sides and you lift it up out of the way. Now you take the screws loose for the ribbons and I'm going to also take the inverter because I know the inverter works on the replacement display and I know it matches it. So I'm going to take this screw out here so that inverter will be a loose. I got a screw here for the monitor cable. Then the monitor cable comes around here. There's a screw there. Then there's one more screw here for the monitor cable. When I get those screws out, this monitor cable unplugs, sliding back toward the monitor. 
let me take those screws loose and get the cables loose. Take these very fine tip Phillips screws out of the side. It looks like there's four on both sides. Then your display will come away from the machine with your cables. Then you, uh, you're all done getting it out. Now the monitor cable had a little bit of tape on the end of it. I undid the tape. Then I worked the cable loose from the hinge area worked it out of the body of the computer and then i pulled it toward the monitor to unplug it then i popped the inverter up and out and now the only thing i have to do is unmount the display from the back of the computer i have the screws out both sides of the display and as you can see display lifts up and away from the computer and now I'm going to install the replacement display. These monitors are actually two part. You have your backlight, then you have your front piece. I'm not sure which piece cracks or breaks or whatever. You could try to take it apart if you want. I just try to keep them together as an assembly. Back together, first thing I'm gonna do is screw those screws in the side, route my cables right, and secure my cables and my inverter down. On these little side screws you need to get all eight of them started before you tighten any of them down so you can move the display around and get them in. Once you get them in, tighten down, then route your cable, plug your cable in, and make sure your inverter is in and screwed down. When you get this cable in, make sure you push it in, the plug in with the screwdriver, tape it down, and if you still have your security strap, screw it in there. When you're putting these screws in, just snug them down. Don't try to strip them out or nothing like that. And once you get your cable down, go ahead and put your power strip in and plug it in and secure the snap on there. Now these things, they have to be pulled back so you can get the ribbon in there. And once you get the ribbon in there, then you push it forward like that to lock the ribbon in. So... Let me pull that out so it'll be ready for the ribbon. Snap this in place, put the ribbon in under these cables here and secure the ribbon. I tucked the corners first, then I put the middle down, snapped it down in place, worked my way out to get this in place. Now I'm gonna get my ribbon threaded. That's how the ribbon looks when it's plugged all the way in and secure. Next thing I'm going to do is plug the ribbon in for the keyboard, put the keyboard in place, and put the four screws into the keyboard. And that's the keyboard ribbon. That's how it looks when it's locked in place. Now I'm going to tuck the front corners of it down into the machine and screw those four screws in there. Now I'm going to snap this trim piece in place and then I'm going to snap my bezel in place for my monitor. I'm going to do the hinge area first, snap it in, and I'm going to work my way up toward the middle. On this trim, I hook both ends in first, and then I ram my thumb across it to snap it all the way across. On the monitor bezel, I just pressed it down and clipped this edge in like that. Then I pressed it around the sides Work my way up the sides, work the latches through the holes, made sure your monitor release is right. And as you can see, it's pretty tight the whole way up and around. Now I'm going to put the four screws in and put the four covers on, install my battery, and I'm all done. So I took the monitor off of this P205 Delta S7802 and I installed it on this P205S6267. So I'm pretty sure they're compatible and this one doesn't have a D on it. I don't know what the D was for. So let me go ahead and hit the power button and see that the display does work. I got activity down here. And I just got my Toshiba notice on the display. So it looks like I'm in good shape. No more shattered screen. And we're good to go. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them. 
um, I may post a video taking the rest of the computer apart for the motherboard. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.